everyone. I know it's been a while since I've done some live streams and stuff. I'm sorry, I really have not been feeling well and I had my trip to see this doctor who is actually able to help and I just have been recovering since I got home and all of that. Um, yeah, I just thought I would hop on. I'm not sure how long I'll be on for today, but I just thought I would hop on and try to do a bit of live streaming, um, even if it's only for a short time. I thought a little bit is better than nothing. <laughs> and I got Prince here with me as well. He went with me on this trip and yeah, it's going to basically take years to get my health better, but um, she can help so and she can help me get better and so yeah, it's going to be awesome in that aspect. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would attempt to live stream for a little bit today and I'm not sure if I forgot something or not. I can't remember if I forgot something that I was going to do or... Oh, I cannot remember I got that going with the um, time lapse. Sure. I think I'm okay to keep that like to go. But yeah. I can't remember if there's something that I'm forgetting. something I'm forgetting but I cannot remember what it is if there is something I'm forgetting. Hi Rebecca! <laughs> Good to see you. It's nice to start seeing some other Australians on the stream as well as all the people that we get from overseas. I'm feeling like I've forgotten something, would you believe? But I cannot remember what it is. I cannot. I love your puzzling setup. <laughs> Thank you. It just fits a 6,000 piece puzzle setup. My setup does. And it's a height adjustable table as well for when I need to adjust the height which my dog's crate, my, I'm looking into getting another puppy, but my dog's crate sort of just takes up the space that's there right now. It does. I feel like I'm missing something because I haven't done this for a while. I cannot for the life of me remember what. But I just feel like I'm missing something. I do. I use my dining table. Your height adjustable table sounds great. My back hurts after a while. Yeah, mine does too at times. So I've got like the bar stool chair in that here. But yeah, I can't for the life of me work out why I feel like I've forgotten something today. It's bugging me. <laughs> it is bugging me. Everything seems good to me. If you're missing something, it mustn't be important. Yeah, mustn't be. I tend to go through these periods when I'm physically exhausted that I worry about everything and nothing, and for some reason I'm worrying and it's not even over anything. 
So, here, fun times, not, but. Yeah. I'm still trying to recuperate from going up to Coffs Harbour and that to see this doctor to try and find out if they can help and that unfortunately that she she is able to help so it's awesome that I found someone who can actually help me have the chance to get better and that but it's gonna take years. But yes. I'm probably just feeling like I'm missing something because I was so used to doing these setups. Now I haven't done it for a while and now it's throwing me a bit. Probably is. I've just moved to cost in 2020. <laughs> nice. I actually, this doctor's thing was in Scott's head, but... Yeah, I'll be having, having to head up there again in September, um, back up to Coffs Harbour and that, so who knows, depending, you may be able to meet or something. So I'm so hopeful someone here can help you. Yes, fortunately this doctor is able to help, but she said it's basically going to take years to get better because of just how bad things are, so, but at least she can help kind of thing which is which is a big step in the right direction I guess you could say but yeah it's taken a lot of energy and that out of me since I got home and hence why my hair probably looks a mess because I've just gotten up from out of bed again but she can help and yeah, just got to work on things over time and I think because I'm tired I'm just worrying over absolutely nothing for everything that doesn't need to be worried over. We moved here because of all the specialists and things that are here compared to where I used to live. Yeah, well this is in, um, it isn't Coffs Harbour per se where the doctor I saw is it's in Scott's head but it was beautiful there and she's able to help so that's what matters at the end of the day I'm just trying to work out where these bits connect and stuff but yeah she is able to help so it's a step in the right direction after so many people have told me we can't help, we can't do anything, blah, 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 so. But she did warn me it will take years to get better kind of thing just because of the amount of time it's been going on and all of that, so. <laughs> yes <laughs> I worry way too much I also have Asperger's and a whole heap of other things which is why I sort of crashed big time since I got home as well so fun times not but not a lot I can do about it Unfortunately, but she reckons that she can get better, that I'll be able to get better and look into having kids and stuff like I want in the future and stuff, so that's awesome in that aspect. And these leafy bits always have to confuse me. But yeah, I had to take all my wheelchair and everything up there for that last appointment though, but yeah. 
Yeah. At least I know someone can help now, so that's what matters at the end of the day. You'll get there. How are you enjoying the puzzle? I've only done up to 3,000 pieces before. I actually really like this one, but I do find all the different leafy bits and tree trunks and that till you start getting them all settled in. Like, you can tell I've started. There's a bit of puzzle dust on my table too. Not puzzle dust, actual dust, because I haven't done much for a month or more on it again. But you do have to work like it does start fitting in as you get more in. But you do have to find... Oh, excuse me. You do have to find... I find to ways to... Um, I find I don't always use the image, even though I've got the image there. I find I have to look at patterns and colours and try and match them up and make them work. Because I'm trying to get these tree trunks together, so then I can hopefully try and start getting some leaves fitted together and so on and so forth. But I really do like these larger puzzles and I want to get back to making Mickey too sometime and I've got a 4,000 piece sorted same grid there from Tom Axe, but um, it doesn't look quite as good a quality, shall we say, as some of the Ravens merger and that, but yeah, I'm just hoping that give it time, as, as she says, like I've got to start trying to change around my frame of thinking from thinking negatively and all of that sort of stuff because mindset is a big part. She said this, like the doctor I'm going back to, I used to see as a teenager kind of thing. And she said to me, um, changing mindset is another big part of the whole process kind of thing. So I'm trying to work at learning to change my mindset when I need to kind of thing. But she tries to fix the whole body, not just one part or whatever. And she reckons that give it time that, um, like she's helped people get better that have had mis hits and miscarriages and then been able to have kids and all sorts of things. So, hi Mike, thank you. It's good to be back. I just, yeah, been exhausted since I came back from my trip up there and I wasn't feeling great. Still not feeling great, but I'm working on getting the supplements and things that this doctor's recommended that I start on because she does things more natural than, um, like she doesn't do it. Like she will use medical stuff if needed, but she tries to do it more complementary, natural sort of herbs and medicines and that to get people better, which she thinks is what's best for me currently at this point in time due to what's going on. By the way, I've been calling Ravensburger Ravensburger. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing laughing my... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, easy mistake to make, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so... She's basically going to try and help me to get my whole body in that as best as I can so that I can get back to doing all the things that I love and all of that. It's going to take years, according to her. But... She says at the end of it, I'll be feeling a lot better. I've just got to make sure I stick to it for the next however many years and that. And if it means I can do more of my YouTube stuff with puzzles and art and colouring and everything, it'll be so worth it. I love when doctors look at the whole person, not just the one problem. Yeah, it's awesome. Like, she's not cheap because um, she did tell me she just recently retired from the actual doctor's medical practice, but she can still, she's still doing stuff per se, so you can't actually get money back from Medicare. It's not exactly cheap, but she just seemed to, for the first time, someone had answers and was able to help, and that meant a whole heap because for the first time, I actually have a chance of being able to get better and have my life back I guess and be able to do all the things that I love again in, in time obviously it's not going to be straight away 
but I will be able to get back to all the things that I love and enjoy with time, which is a huge thing and it's a good thing. It is. But yeah. See, I'll be able to, I don't know. I tried doing this, but just ended up with the saw hand. But this is an art piece I've started working on. I don't know if you can see it, but eventually I want to turn some of these pieces into puzzles and things like that with art pieces that I'm drawing. But yeah, so at least I've got a chance now to get better and do things. But yeah, that's all in pencil work. It is. That image is called Finding Hope, so. But yeah, I'm just glad that I've got the chance now. She did say to me, she's glad that I got to her when I did because she doesn't know how much longer my body would have held up with the way it was going. So basically, I was not well, I guess you could say. So basically, it was worse than I realised, but... At least I got to it when I did now, and I, now I've got the chance to improve. And why does this, I don't know why stems have to keep tricking you so much, but they do. Yeah, it is scary, but seems like at least I got to her at just the right time before anything got even worse but basically from what I found out my body is basically completely breaking down that's what I found out at the end of the day my body is completely breaking down tissues are being replaced by fluid all the rest so pretty much my body is in not a good place It isn't. So I was, I kind of feel lucky that I got to see her when I did because things are not good per se. But good news out of it all is that at least she's able to help so now I have the chance to get better which is more than I had before from all the doctors who had no idea what was going on or no idea how to help so it's a step in the right direction it is but yes and I do miss doing my YouTube stuff and that when I'm not feeling up to it and that. So hopefully being able to do that, like I have a goal of making a career from my art, my YouTube, my reading stuff. I want to get back to my reading as well. And my art, I think I mentioned my art and colouring and the puzzles and stuff like that. So I really sort of want to get back to doing all of that again and at least now I've got a chance because I was starting to feel like I wasn't going to be able to even though I wanted to. So the fact that there's a chance at the end of the day and light that I will be able to get back to that and that I like I was even thinking I wanted to have kids but I was thinking I wouldn't be able to have kids. There's even a chance now that I'll be able to have kids again have kids because she said she's helped people who haven't been able to get pregnant without miscarriages and that and they've been able to have perfect kids so yeah I feel lucky that I've been able to get back to her and that I feel like this could be a life changer again in my efforts to get better and be able to do more
That is. And I've just been sorting out getting what she wants me on for the start and that now and then, yeah. My brother has a specialist, he says he's amazing. The regular doctor said that two meds the specialist gave should be incompatible, but they work very well for him. It's amazing what a good specialist can do. Yeah, that's awesome that it works for your brother. Yeah. And this puzzle is playing teasers on me. It always does this with these leaves. It always does it. I don't know why, when it comes to trying to put stems together with the lines and everything, it just likes to tease me. It does. I have a chance now which is more than I had before I went up there so it's basically a good thing anyway and my hair is really knotty from I didn't bother brushing my hair after I got out of bed and I should have <laughs> but yes Hi Vanya, I have to go now. Thanks for starting the live. I hope all goes well for you. Thanks Rebecca, I hope all goes well for you too. And yeah, I'm just going to play it by ear as to how long I'm on depending on how I feel or how tired I am because yeah, I'm still exhausted. I basically spent the last week sleeping but yeah, it's good to at least be able to do a bit of something anyway. So yeah, I hope you have a good evening anyway. I do. I hope you have a good evening. I'm just going to be sitting here trying to puzzle out these edge pieces that are trying to drive me bonkers. Thanks, you too. Yep. I'm sure I'll see you around in the future anyway.
Marion. Nice to see you. Hello, Bills. What you doing? Sorry, my dog was just talking to me in the background. <laughs> She was. I'm just trying to puzzle out these tree edge pieces. I am. tree edge pieces or even leaves have to do this to you they're always much harder to get together than you think they're going to be they always are same time it's just nice to be able to do them again it is
I'm not sure what that colour one's from. I'm kind of a little slow because I'm still tired. So I'm not as fast as I could be. Somewhere up there. I don't know exactly where, but.
Thank you. 
Hey Tony, I'm sorry, um, I'll have to just check what you're saying in Google Translate because I'm not quite sure. So I'll just do that quickly. What are you doing? I'm doing the 18,000 piece Raven's Verger Heavenly Sunset Bag B at the moment. So I'm working on the second of four sections currently. I am. Hi Nathan, thank you. I'm just trying to do my best. I'm not sure how long I'll be around because I'm still fairly exhausted and still not feeling great. But Lisa says hope in the future I'll be able to be a lot better and do a lot more again. There is. There is a lot of hope. There is hope in the future because the doctor that I was going up to see is able to help. So. Yeah. I'm just kind of very slow at this at the moment because I'm still just completely exhausted and stuff, so. Just trying to do the best I can. And hopefully I haven't dropped any puzzle pieces on the floor either. But I'll check that after I'm done here. In a minute, I'll check that. I have a quick look around the other side although I'm pretty certain there's nothing on the floor at the minute. No, nothing that I can see right this minute. Which is good. try and do things as I can.
very hypnotic, relaxing music. I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. As you know, I always like to try and have the relaxing music on in the background. I do. So I find it helps me to relax and de-stress with all that's going on too. But yeah, from what I've been told though, it's going to take me years to get better, but there is a chance that I'll be able to get better and do all that I want again since seeing this doctor. So at least there's a chance, which is something. So I'm glad that I took the chance to go up and see this doctor because now I do have a chance to get better and be able to do what I love again and all of the rest as I explained earlier on and things because basically from what I was told she was glad that I got there when I did because literally my body is falling apart on me so basically and that she didn't know how much longer my body would have held up with the way it was going so I'm lucky I got up there when I did the last thing I want is to cark it at the end of the day so at least now I've found someone who has answers and can help yes it should all work out I've just got to I've got to work on believing it and just learning to trust trust and believe in myself and all the rest because mindset is another big thing but basically the person I've found treats the whole body not just not just one little bit and piece that they treat the whole thing so yeah it'll be good if I can get back to doing what I love and all of that sort of stuff it's going to be awesome at the end of the day it'll be worth it Now it's just, why won't these dang pieces all go together, like, quickly? <laughs> well, I know that's never the gist of it, but... Now I need to change the camera thing again already. Put that right here. So I'm time-lapsing it as well. As you notice, though, I couldn't go a live stream without Princey here, though. Because we needed prints in the stream. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully it'll mean give it time that I'll be able to do all my art, my colouring, puzzles, everything. And I'll be able to do a lot more stuff without feeling so crap at the end of the day. That's the goal. There it is. Changing camera batteries for the time lapse. to the GoPro app, out, that. Hey, and we can 
continuing. I'm pretty certain. Yes, we are. Just hopefully I haven't missed anything in this one. Is the time lapse photos, but I guess we'll see. Only time will tell. Work for me now. Enjoy the rest of your day. Keep up the great progress on Bagby. Thank you, Nathan. Hopefully, I'm not sure how much longer I'll keep going on this, but I hope you have a good day at work. And yeah, either way, at least it's a bit of a continuing of it, even if I don't do it for ages. At least it's something to continue with and keep going on and keep working towards. As time goes, I guess you could say. So, so yeah, it's the good thing being able to just slowly work on things, even if it's not a lot, a little bit is better than nothing at the end of the day. But I hope you have a good day at work anyway, and yeah, we do. Hope you have a good day at work. Thank you. 
Legos, what you doing? Nearly got the, nearly got another trunk bit set up. We just need to find the rest of the pieces for it, which might not be in here. It might be elsewhere. Or maybe they are in here. Yes, connected there. guessing it does. Do you want to go out Lil's or just let Lil's out the backyard? Three tree trunks. Oh, excuse me.
think what I'm going to do is leave it at that just because I'm starting to get a headache in that again and I need to go and rest again. But yeah, it's good to start getting a little more progress again anyway. So it's good to start back on this. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have missed it. So, and yeah, I'm glad that going forwards, there'll be chances for me to get even better and I'll be able to get back to more stuff as I start feeling even better. So it's going to be good. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this anyway. I think I'm just going to sign off here and go and rest again because I'm still not up to a huge heap and know all of that, but I'm just trying to do what I can meanwhile. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you later. Thank you for joining me in this stream and that. It was good to see you all again and hopefully I'll be back doing even more in the future. It will be awesome. So yeah, I'll see you later.